guys welcome back so today's video is another makeup tutorial I really wanted to just do a nice warm kind of cut crease um, and just do something like really dramatic yet have like the lid itself be kind of light I don't know I was feeling some type of way about my pink hair it's a very recent change um, and I just wanted to do something that I would be like super comfortable wearing on the eyes because like you know when you change your hair and then you like try and do like different eye looks and stuff it can kind of make you a little bit sad which is how I was feeling yesterday when I did like a crazy like pastel inspired look so I honestly just wanted to sit down and film something that just a look that I really love just like warm colors like a nice champagne sort of lid you guys know what I mean like this is the kind of looks that I live for so I just really wanted to film something that was like me and my element. I also really wanted to use my Makeup Addiction Cosmetics palettes because I haven't used these in so long. I've actually never used this one before other than today. Um, it was just sitting in my drawer and I've been meaning to do a makeup tutorial using it but I just hadn't got around to it. So I finally used it today. They have some really amazing pigmented foiled type of eyeshadows in here. I really love Makeup Addiction Cosmetics eyeshadows. I think they're really beautiful. So I used the Meadow palette today and I also dipped into the Flaming Love palette as well and that is what it looks like. They have some really crazy colors. You guys can tell that I just stuck to the neutrals today. Um, but if you guys want some more tutorials using these palettes then I can definitely do that for you guys. I also have the Vintage palette as well um, and yeah so if you guys want more toots using like the colorful shades in those palettes definitely let me know um but yeah without any further ado we're just gonna jump straight into this tutorial i really hope that you guys like it i know it's not like crazy out of my comfort zone it's like really just my little bubble of what i love um but i just really needed to do something that just made me so happy today you guys know what i'm saying please give it a big thumbs up because that would really help me out subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and we're just going to get straight in to the hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So we're just starting off with some skincare because as you guys can tell, I was looking and feeling some type of way. I was really tired. I think I'd just woken up when I was filming this and yeah, I was, it was not my hottest moment. Um, but I was just going in with my, Mel Mel I was going to say Malheur, what am I saying? My La Mer Renewal Oil and then my Tarte Brighter Days Moisturizer. I've really been liking those as like a base underneath my makeup. Um, and I've kind of been skipping the primer lately. I don't really know why, just, I don't know, just trying things out. And then I just used for foundation, my Makeup Forever Foundation Stick in the shade Y245, I believe. Like always, everything will be listed down below, so don't forget to check the description box. And then you guys just see me going in with my Sigma 3D HD Blender Sponge. It's my favorite at the moment. It's just like a beauty blender. Um, but it has like a little ridge on the side so like corners it's really good for like getting underneath your eyes and in the corners of your nose if you guys feel me um, and you guys can use Casey Rayton to get 10% off any brushes or anything from Sigma I definitely recommend them they're my faves and I will leave all my brushes on the screen as well as listed down below for you guys but then I'm just going in and doing my brows. I thought I'd just include a quick little snippet of how I've been doing them. I like to use my Sigma E75 brow brush and my Anastasia dip brow in the shade blonde. And then I just use a little bit of concealer to clean that up. And that's been like my go-to brow routine at the moment. Um, sometimes I'll use a brow gel. It just depends if I need it. Then you guys see me going in with these Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. I think that's the name. These ones are in the shade Sunkissed. I think they are the most beautiful and natural looking contour bronzy sort of shade ever. It's just my favorite liquid bronzer at the moment. I'm obsessed. Um, it's like the perfect mix between like warm and neutral. So you guys can definitely get away with using this as either like a bronzer or a contour. Um, it's honestly just like the perfect shade. And then going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shades Fair Neutral and Light Medium. And I'm just blending those underneath my eyes with my Sigma F03 brush. So I thought I would just use a brush today. I usually, usually use my Beauty Blender, but I don't know. I just thought I would see how a brush goes. And then you guys see me going in and setting underneath my eyes. So I'm just using my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder to set the under eyes. Just a little bit, you don't need too much. And then going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder all over the rest of my face. We're then going in and starting off with the eyes, taking the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics 
Meadow palette. I had to think for a second. Just taking this light crease sort of shade and on my Sigma E40 brush, I am just buffing that into the crease. It's got a nice warm orangey sort of undertone, so it just really makes your eyes pop. Um, and yeah, basically just buffing that all up in the transition, a little bit on the lower lash line, you guys know the drill. Then from that same palette, I'm taking the orange shade and on my Sigma E25 brush, I'm blending that into the crease. So I like to hold the brush like sideways so the tapered edge is like getting right into the crease and then I like to turn it on its side so it can like help buff it all up in there. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, but I'm also dragging that on the lower lash line as well. Basically just building the color up into the crease and then onto the lower lash line. And then you guys see me go in with my Sigma E40 brush just to make sure everything is really buffed out, blended and seamless. Then taking that same shade on my E20 brush, I'm just packing the orange onto the lower lash line and then going back in with that E25 brush and I'm actually using my palette to get a really nice sharp crisp line. I didn't want it to be too sharp, I want it to be a little bit diffused which is why we're not using tape today. So if you just get a business card or like the side of your palette, anything that has like a straight edge, you can really get that sort of like triangular sort of shape without it being too sharp if you guys get me. Then going in with the Flaming Love palette, I'm just taking the nice mocha brown warm sort of shade on my Sigma E25 brush. You guys know I always use the same brushes. Everything will be listed on the screen and the description box if you guys are getting confused or lost at all. So definitely pay attention to those because it will help you guys out. Um, but basically just switching back and forth between the E25 and the E40 to make sure everything is really blended and seamless. Basically just working these colors into the crease and packing them onto the lower lash line with that little E20 brush. Um, and just basically building up the pigmentation where we want it. Then going back in with that same Flaming Love palette, I'm taking the dark brown shade and on my Sigma E47 brush, I'm just starting to work this into the crease and the outer corner. So basically just the whole time through this entire tutorial, I'm just trying to build up like that definition as well as like drag it out nice and dramatic if you guys get me um, and I'm just kind of switching back and forth between those colors just to build everything up and make sure it's blended as you guys can see I'm going back in with the orange shade from the meadow palette um, just to make sure that brown is really blended out and diffused then going in and cutting the crease just using the shape tape in the shade fair neutral and I'm just taking that on my Sigma E56 brush it's just a flat concealer type of brush um, and I use that to really carve out the start of it and then I just use my finger to blend it and then on my Sigma E54 brush I'm just taking the shimmery white sort of champagne shade from the Meadow palette and I'm basically just packing that exactly where we cut that crease and put the concealer. Then going back in with the E25, I'm just taking a little bit of that orange shade and just helping diffuse that outer edge just so it blends in really seamlessly with the color on the lid. And then you guys see me going in and just adding a little bit of concealer and then that same eyeshadow to the lower lash line and inner corner. Just helps make it pop and stand out a little bit more. And then going in and doing a very dramatic wing as always. I'm using my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper. It's just a black one. This is my favorite eyeliner. It's the only one I ever use. I try and use other ones, but this is just my fave. Honestly, it never fails me. Then I just went in and applied some false lashes. I used the Huda Beauty Scarlet Lashes on the top and then I just added a couple of individual lashes on the bottom. Then going in with my Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer just to redefine those bronzed areas. You guys know I like a good bronzer helmet so we're just going to town. And then I went in with my Charlotte Tilbury blush. I can't remember the name. It's like... Oh, it's got some weird name. I always forget it, but the blush looks like a nipple. I'll leave it down below for you guys so you can check it out if you would like to. And then I went ahead and highlighted my cheekbones. I pulled out the good old Anastasia So Hollywood Illuminator. This is such a pretty illuminator. I love it. I think it's so stunning um, and it just stands out so much. And then I finished everything off with a setting spray. Today I'm using the Kat Von D Locket spray. Absolute favorite. I need to do like an updated favorites video 
and just tell you guys all the products I've been loving because this is definitely one of them. I think it is incredible. Favorite setting spray of all time. And then just to finish off the lips, I went in with the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Baby Doll, I believe. And that is that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one.